Hi everyone, welcome to another Roblox video. This time on a cool RPG game I have been playing for a while now, Pilgrim, which I recommend you to definitely play because it is awesome. You're probably here for the build I made on Halberd. I won't make this long, so I'll start the guide. To get the Halberd, you will have to go to the observatory. If you don't know how to get to the observatory, here's how. First, you will go to the forest that is on the left side of the village, and follow me to the pole where you spawn boats. Get on your boat and sail to the right. If you have a compass, go south. Go straight ahead past the lighthouse towards the sinister sea. Be careful once you enter here because big fish might be near. Once you are at the observatory, there's a mirror there where you can teleport to. Now sail just across the observatory to egg roost. You will have to grind the eggies because Halbert has a low chance. Not unless you do get lucky and get it. After you got it, Forge a charm gem onto it by talking to Talvern back in the observatory. Then, talk to Billy and reforge it to legendary. Moving on with the build. We'll need patchwork and titan bits. These are also in the observatory sold also by Billy. Patchwork requires 1,500 gold. 20 scrap metal, 2 foul patch, and 25 chaos essence. While titan brace requires 1,500 gold, 15 iron, a power bracelet, and a megaton pendant. For the helmet, I use the sand pod crown, which you can get by killing the sand pod king using the challenge medal. If you do not have the challenge medal, follow where I go. You have to talk to Nebraska near the desert entrance and buy it there for 250 gold. Now, there's two ways to get to the Sandpot King. My recommended way is by going in the volcano if you do not have a gemstone axe or an icy foot and a glider. But if you do, then you can try the alternative way, which is by going to the desert village. This is located between two large blocks and on the left you will see stairs going there. There is a way to cheese the Tan Pod King, which is by going to the Stairs of Rocks and shooting it. Although, this will need a Dexterous build, aka a gun build. There is another thing we need that we can also get from the King Sand Pod. It is the Royal Antenna. This has a high chance of getting, so that's the advantage. We're almost done! All we need is a few more accessories. One of them is the combo group. This is found at the savanna, which is on the right side of Pogo Path. You will have to grind the copper ants, which drops the item. The last two items are back at the observatory. These are the fragile whetstone and the shark tooth necklace. So the fragile whetstone can be obtained also by killing some eggies at the egg boost. On the other hand, the shark tooth necklace can be obtained by killing sharks found anywhere at the sinister sea. Once you got the armor and helmet, reforge it to angry, and reforge all the accessories you got to jagged. Now, the skills. Below offense, you will need ace delicate. Below defense, you will need ace juggernaut and ace rally. Lastly, misc. You only need base athlete. 
Now I will show you the damage it can deal along with inflicting bleed. Well, that's all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found the build helpful with your journey through this incredible game. If you have any suggestions or questions for me, feel free to ask in the comments. I will try my best to answer. Bye!